my family, Prince William has the full power of the institution behind him. William has UK tabloids doing PR on his behalf for him every single day as they try to undermine Prince Harry just so William can benefit. Just so William can be viewed positively while Harry is viewed in a negative light. My family and the farm plus UK media have tried everything to deem Harry and Meghan's light. They have tried everything. There is nothing in this world that they have not tried. But despite everything they do, people just love Prince Harry. People want to be around Prince Harry. People adore Prince Harry and Meghan. No matter what the farm does, people always love Harry and Meghan. You know, with the exception of racist individuals, of course. My family, basically, that is how Harry and Meghan are loved. Despite all this smear campaign, Harry and Meghan are loved. And don't forget, this smear campaign has lasted years. So many years. And it continues to this day. But despite this mere campaign towards Harry and Meghan, Harry and Meghan are so, so loved because they are amazing, amazing human beings. My family, Harry and Meghan, went to watch a hockey game between the San Jose Sharks versus Vancouver Canucks. And uh, my family, first of all, I want you to hear what was said by someone who was asked about Harry and Meghan being in attendance at the game. I want you to hear exactly just what he said about, you know, players playing in front of Harry, you know? Someone called Rick Toshe, my family, in the aftermatch briefings to the press. Rick was asked, what's it like being around, you know, royals? Royals being there watching the game, watching this hockey game. And my family, here is what Rick Toshe said, my family. Special night with some royals in the building as well. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, gave him a, I gave him a fist bump. I don't know if that's if you're allowed to do that. I, <laughs> I did it though. He did it. I don't know. He kind of looked at me, but he did it. So, <laughs> you know, pretty cool to get a fist bump for, right? <laughs> Special night with some royals in the building as well. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. I gave, him a, I gave him a fist bump. I don't know if that's if you're allowed to do that. I, I, I did it though. He did it. I don't know. He kind of looked at me, but he did it. So, <laughs> yeah. My family, you've heard that, you know, from Rick. Pretty cool to get a fist bump from Prince Harry. That is what Rick, my family, said in the after match briefings after the game to the press. You know. I feel like this is what happens when UK media have no idea, have no clue where Harry and Meghan are going to be. My family, you won't see any kind of toxicity being spread. You won't see any kind of negativity. What you'll see is people in the press, members of the press, acting objectively, reporting objectively. Being objective in their coverage. That is what you'll be able to see. And my family, the reason I chose to show you this, my family, today is also because of my family. What happened a while back to Prince William and Kimilton when they were going to Boston to watch a basketball game 
to look for PR, my family. And UK media, in the aftermatch press briefings, they asked, you know, American basketball players, what's it like to play, you know, when William and Kim Wilson are watching? <laughs> And my family, just the thought of how they responded, you know, it makes me laugh. I mean, UK media always want for people to be like, oh, they're the royal family. Let's all bow down. Let's all cut. Let's all kneel down. My family, William and Kim were humiliated right after, you know, being there at the game. My family, here is what amazing, fantastic basketball players, what they say in the family about, you know, playing when Prince William and Kay Moulton was watching my family. Well, watching my family, sorry. Please kindly look at this, please. Um, I know you guys have played in front of a lot of celebrities, but what was it like to compete in front of royalty tonight? The Prince and Princess of Wales were in the building. Oh, that was just a regular game to me. <laughs> Please kindly hear this again. You guys have played in front of a lot of celebrities, but what was it like to compete in front of royalty tonight? The Prince and Princess of Wales were in the building. Oh, that was just a regular game to me. <laughs> Gets me every single time. Gets me every single time, my family. Every single time. You know? <laughs> it was just a regular game to me. You know, the problem with UK media and my family, how they ask their questions. They want you to phone over the whole family. Like they do. Like because it is their job really to give PR for the whole family. While undermining other members, the royal family who the farm wants them to target. That's normally what they do, my family. And that's why you see them targeting Harry Baker with negative press, abuse, insults, harassment. They do that with the full approval and consent of senior members of the royal family. And my family, you know, this UK media normally like to say that royalty is a cut above celebrity. I find that my family, you know, demeaning and insulting really to celebrities. You know, because celebrities, let's say an actor or an actress, they go out there and they work and they pay their bills. You know? Members, the royal family, leech off of tax for money. King Charles is getting a huge pay raise, a huge pay raise, and the guy is a billionaire. A billionaire. The guy is so, so rich. Super, super rich. He's a billionaire, my family. You know? A billionaire. But the guy is getting a pay raise. You know? And then, the next day, you'll hear, Oh, our members of the whole family deserve this pay raise. They are doing so much hard work. My family, the one thing they do really is cut ribbons and brief against Harry Meghan. That's what they do. I mean, let's all be honest, my family. Members, the royal family, what they do is cut ribbons. Let's say go to an event. You know, cut a ribbon. And my family rarely even, you know, do something impactful or meaningful to their respective charities. You know, a couple of months ago, I read a report saying that, you know, royals don't really having a patron having a royal as a patron in your charity does not really bring much to that charity you know no wonder really some charities that Hamilton has voted have gone bankrupt no wonder prince william even today is trying to find a purpose for himself you know but harry told us with william he cared less about finding his own purpose rather than about winning his lifelong competition against Prince Harry. He wants Harry to be hated. That's what William, a brother, you know, he wants his own brother to be hated just so he can be loved. 
so people can pay attention to him and not Harry. Jealousy and his jealousy towards Harry has turned into a sick kind of hatred, a scary type of you know hatred, my family. And you feel so so sad about how what William has become, about who he has become, or really who he's always been. Because I don't believe that someone can just you know turn overnight and start hating his brother. My family, he always felt that way for a, a very, very long time. And when Harry and Meghan married, got married, my family, fell in love and got married, William's jealousy and hatred of Harry just went through the roof. Especially when he saw how Harry and Meghan are loved. And he's tried every single day to try and destroy Harry and Meghan. Every single day, Harry and Meghan are being, you know, targeted by the community every day with negative press. Every single day. Just to prop up Prince William and Kim Morton. That is what normally happens. But yet, despite all the PR given to Prince William, I mean, my family, the, the farm has a very, very powerful propaganda weapon. You know, the UK media. Very powerful propaganda arm for the whole family, UK media. And despite all of that PR they get every single day, still, when William Hamilton go to an American basketball game, my family. A player, when asked a question about what's it like to play, you know, when William is watching, say, it is just a normal game to me. Like what? What did the reporters expect them to say? Oh, it was so nice to play, you know, next to royalty, next to Prince William, K. Milton. No, my family, they don't say that stuff about Prince William. You know why? Because people can see exactly who he is, can see right through him. People are angry because of how Meghan was mistreated up by the farm, by William, by Kim Walton, by Charles, by Camilla. And they can never be on the side of abusers in the farm, on William's side, Charles' side, K. Camilla's side. People don't want to be on their side. On side of, of, of oppression, you know? Because really... The farm really stands for oppression, really. You know? And how they've racially abused Meghan Markle, her kids, my family. It took Harry and Meghan basically recognizing their kids as Archie and Lily Bethan and family, formally recognizing them as prince and princess in my family until the website was basically, you know changed to reflect Archie and Lily's new titles. My family, it took months when my family, after the Queen passed away, Archie Lily Bedana was supposed to be called Prince and Princess immediately. But it took Harry and Meghan to basically, you know, claim Archie and Lily Bed's birthright. Or else, the farm would have never ever acknowledged Archie Lilibet as prince and princess, my family. As prince and princess. You know? It took months. It took months. When my family, when the queen passed away, already William and the kids, William already got Prince of Wales title immediately. But yet, they did not alter Archie and Lilibet's you know, title to reflect you know, their new and current titles of prince and princess the family. Why is that? We all know why. Everyone here knows why because of Archie and Lilibet's race, my family. Everybody here knows why. Because of Archie and Lilibet's race, my family. You know, that's why I really hope that for Archie and Lilibetana in the future, that because I firmly believe Harry and Meghan want them to decide. They want Archie and Lily to decide what it is they want to do with their life, with their career, really. What they want to do. Do they want to, you know, go to the raw fold and serve there? Or do they want to have their own careers? And I feel like when that time comes, I hope they choose careers of their own. That enables them to pay their own bills. That, and that they are never, ever dependent on William for anything. 
or even William's kids for anything. My family. Because one thing I don't want to see is Archie and Bidana being used as scapegoats for William's kids, my family. By William's kids, even. You know, that's one thing I don't want to see. And so my family. Basically, also, there is one other basketball player who was asked about, you know, performing next to <laughs> William and uh, Kate Milton. My family, here is what my family, he said. Did you get a chance to meet with the royal family? And if not, how was it like having them there in the building? Jesus, Mary, and Joseph? <laughs> Princess of Wales. Oh, no, I did not. <laughs> I'm only familiar with one royal family. I don't know too much about that one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad they're hopefully they're Celtic fans. <laughs> Thank you. You know, my family, and then you have UK media claiming that William and Kimilton are so, so famous in America. My family, you can do PR for William every single day. You can give him positive press every single day. But on the ground, things are different. On the ground, things are different. People have read Harry's Memoir Spare. Millions of people have purchased Harry's Memoir Spare. And my family, people of color like me, you know, we have seen how what William has done to Meghan Markle. The pain he has put Meghan through. The pain he has put Prince High through. A brother that he was to destroy because of jealousy. Because of jealousy. He wants to see his brother on his knees. Just so he can stand. Just so he can be more popular than Prince Harry. That is what William wants, my family. So my family, does it matter really how much PR is invested really on Prince William. How much the farm gives William positive press. It doesn't matter. The fact is, the ones who will always be loved is Harry and Meghan. Because they are good people. They are genuine people with amazing, kind hearts. Harry and Meghan are good people. Amazing human beings because with amazing good hearts. No wonder people want to be around Prince Harry. No wonder people are happy to be around Meghan Markle. You know? No wonder because they have a good heart. Harry, what is done for veterans through the Invitas Games? People love him for that. For what is done for others. Despite all this abuse he has received. Despite all the abuse towards Meghan even. People love Harry Meghan and they support Harry Meghan and they ought to be around Harry Meghan because they know they are genuine people. They are amazing, kind-hearted human beings with very, very remarkable good hearts. So you can give William all the good press you want in this world. All the good press. The UK media, Pagana and the Royal family can give William all the PR he wants but never, never in his life Will he be ever as loved as Prince Harry is? Never in his life. Never. My family, in William's life, will he ever be loved the way Prince Harry is loved, the way Meghan is loved, the way Archie is loved, the way Lilibet is loved, my family. And that will always anger Prince William. William will always be angry because throughout history, spears have been destroyed and heirs have benefited from Destroying the spares, their spares, my family, to become way more popular than the spare. That's how the system operates in the farm. Whereby UK media start building up the spare to become more famous than the air. And in the future, the air turns the spare and destroys the spare. And the spare lives a miserable life lonely and happy life and the heir benefits from the spare being miserable that is what William wants for Prince Harry my family 
that's never ever going to happen to Prince Harry. For the first time in history, the spear will not be destroyed. The spear shall not be destroyed. And William, in the history books, will go down in history as the heir who was never ever more popular than his spear. That no matter what he did, no matter what he tried to do, even tried to destroy his own brother, he never came close enough to be as popular as loved as his brother. And that is something that William will have to live with for the rest of his life. You know, for the rest of his life. That's why he keeps on trying. That's why he keeps on sending UK media after Harry and Meghan, trying to destroy his brother. That's why, you know, Kestrel Palace was the one briefing so many anti-Harry and Meghan stories trying to destroy his brother and also his brother's wife. And my friend, no matter what William has done, no matter what he's tried, still, to this day, even though he keeps on trying, he has never ever succeeded in destroying Harry and Meghan. Prince William, Harry and Meghan are thriving. They are doing so well. They are smiling and they are living their best lives ever. Harry and Meghan are living their best lives ever. Harry and Meghan are living their best lives ever. And my family, we love to see Harry and Meghan living their best lives ever. And no amount of smear campaign will ever destroy this lovely couple. My family, years later, despite all the smear campaign, look at Harry and Meghan, they're still standing. And that's something that will hurt Prince William and UK media so much. That despite all all the smear campaign, all the hate campaign, people want to be around Harry and Meghan. People value Harry and Meghan and what they've done to make this world a better place. People value Harry's service. People value Meghan, her service, her supporting Prince Harry, you know? Her work with Archwell. People value Meghan Markle for being an amazing, kind-hearted human being who's hard to navigate Places whereby are so toxic that could destroy anyone. But Megan, despite what she has endured, look at her smiling, standing. And that is what we want to keep on seeing my family. Harry and Megan thriving. Harry and Megan doing so well. And smiling each and every single day of their lives, my family. So William is going to be very, very angry that he hasn't been able to destroy Megan. That he has not been able to destroy Prince Harry. He will wake up in the morning and search Meghan Markle news, Prince Harry news, and see that Harry and Meghan were at a hockey game and shown so much love, affection. You know? And William will be incandescent with rage as always. Because he, the heir, has never been able to destroy the spear and also the spear's wife. And my family. May William, UK media, and all the evil plots against Harry Meghan, may they never ever succeed. You know, on the farm, UK media's evil plots against Harry Meghan, may they never ever succeed, my family, in destroying this wonderful, you know, couple, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Harry Meghan, keep choosing love, keep doing good. And you and Meghan, you Harry and Meghan, will keep on being blessed. You are loved so much by people from all across the world. And I hope you always know that. I hope that. My family, now you tell me about what, you know, how Harry and Meghan be watching a hockey game. How my family, people like Rick, are so happy to be around, you know, Harry and Meghan. But when it comes to William Hamilton, nobody wants to be around them, my family. It's a normal game to me. <laughs> William, this mere campaign, you have to call it off. You have to ask for it to stop and order it to stop. You've tried, you've really tried, and you have failed. You, Charles K. Camilla, have tried to destroy Harry and Meghan, and you have failed. And it's high time you come to terms with the fact that you have failed, 
and that no matter what you do, you won't be able to destroy her and Megan. And the sooner you come to terms with that, the sooner you are able to accept that, the sooner you are able to acknowledge that no matter what you do, you won't be able to destroy her and Megan, the better it is, you know, for you. Because this mirror campaign, you think that it makes you look good, makes William, Kate, Charles Camille look good. It does not make you look good. It makes you look bad. Really, really bad. Really, really bad. So please, William, we demand that you, K. Moulton, and Charles Camilla, order UK Media to back off Farah Megan. This mega campaign is not doing any good thing for you. It's not, not, it's not doing any good thing for you. It's not doing any good thing for you. You know? It's even harming your image even more. And this smear campaign against Harry Meghan. For your own sakes. End it. Because it's portraying you in a very, very negative light. Not Harry Meghan. It's portraying you, William. Kate. Charles Camilla in a very negative light. So we demand, once again, that you end this smear campaign against Harry Meghan and order UK media to stand down. We know you have the power to do that. Don't be telling us that you know what, Harry, we can't, you know, order the press to 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 do things. We know that Charles has the power to tell the press what to do. We know that for a fact. He has the power to tell them what to do. No wonder, even during King Charles' coronation, my family, he was reported that in my family, the royal family apparently have a WhatsApp message whereby they tell the media, even BBC News, what to show, what not to show. You know? They have that power. So, my family, Charles, can't say that he has no power to tell the media what to do. He has the power to tell them what to do. And we are asking them, demanding, really, that they order UK media, the tabloid media, to back off of Harry Meghan. This may campaign they may think that it's Harry Megan who are viewed as the villains of the story. But no, it's, it's not them. You know? It is Charles, William, K. Camilla who are being viewed as the villains in the story. Not Harry Megan. And they've played so much on people against Harry Megan. But look, look, people love Harry Megan. This mayor campaign has been a complete and utter failure, and it will continue failing. And that no one informed. And that no one informed against Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Lily Bedan and family shall ever prosper. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Love you all and forever. May God bless you all my family and stay tuned to our next video. He never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. My Charles, William, K. Camilla, order UK media to stand down and leave Harry and Meghan alone. Order them to stand down and leave Harry and Meghan alone. Stop the press assault of Harry and Meghan towards Harry and Meghan. Order them to stop. Order them to stop. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you and forever. That's our message, Charles and Camilla and William and Kimilton. Order UK media to stop the attacks towards Harry and Meghan. Order them to stop. That's our message, Charles, William, Kira, and Camilla. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you all and forever. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love, Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. 
Sayonara.